Hello, this is Victor at StoryMercedes.com. Today I just want to show what happens when suspension adaptive damping system isn't working properly. So the car is actually stiff and if you drive it for a long time, you will end up with damaged shrut. So this is a 99 S600, uh, last productions, you know, very few made supposedly. I don't know, I don't know, don't know numbers, but basically here, you have obviously hydraulics in the back and you also have damping system that adjusts your you know the rebound rate well not rebound rate uh, stiffness I would say so now this car had accumulators done I know that because they're fine um, but I guess suspension was in limp and it was in stiff mode and here is uh, the strut that came out of this vehicle now first thing I saw is this piece that was not even screwed in all the way right so it wasn't attached so then on top of all that the actual bolt as you can see is loose already so this whole thing was just halfway out plus the bolt is loose but the biggest issue is obviously at the bottom of the shrut here is the bottom connecting point and this is absolutely destroyed look at the play here look at this that's pretty much metal to metal contact most likely because I can move it with my fingers in and out up and down whichever way I would like so this piece it appears to be a replacement piece <clears throat> because original ones I'll show you in a minute but somebody also put some zip tie here that's not factory of course i can't say when this shot was made but shot appears to be original it's just that the bottom point failed and this piece probably failed first because on the other side it's the same situation um but um i replaced just the upper piece so it's not banging as much but that's that now that's the shrug situation that sound in the back when you hit potholes the horrible sound now there is also another area that i usually take care of while i'm in this vicinity i'm gonna try to zoom on and right here we have a bushing right right over here it's pressed in the no inside the knuckle and this one is not in the greatest shape of its life um, and that I will take care of later but like I said if 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 you're in this vicinity if you're doing this then obviously the bushing is to be replaced I have a car now that I will be doing this job here here is the thing right here that's its bolt and it goes through maybe sway bar links if they're not good but yeah that's that now let's take a look at my solution what I did with the I have some shots laying around and one of them here Mr. Shrut, Mr. Rear Shrut had a good upper mount and that's how factory upper mount would look like it has these two lips just to orient it um, properly so the hose faces the proper way when you mount it in the vehicle and I just pressed in rubber bushing in here that I've done a few times and it works and this is what the original stuff looks like this is inside the strut this is the bottom attachment point and as you can see this one is absolutely rotted rust it was actually frozen and that's what Mercedes came up with I mean, I get it, these Teflon seals, but, uh, you know, with some grease in it, but obviously this boot breaks and all the dirt gets in and obviously it rusts as crazy as it looks right now. You see this? Even rusted on the actual surface here, which is very ridiculous. Well, that's just, you know, that's what usually happens with these, with these shocks. The upper piece is usually okay, the upper mount, but the bottom one gets destroyed. So, obviously you would replace the whole shot. I mean, I'm doing it for myself, so 
I'm gonna put the rubber insert. I rarely do this for customers or any, anybody else because uh, this is this is not like a perfect solution. I've done it on my other cars and uh, it works and still no noises. It's been a few years I've done it last last set. My one of my V12 and um, yeah. Okay, so I guess I covered it all. Mm, this is basically the noise because many people ask question oh there's noise in the back it's banging it's like thumping and what happens and you know well usually it's a strut and then obviously the secondary is the bushing so either you replace the whole thing with a new one or just do what I do try to save some some dollars here on buying new strut uh, because like I said that solution works okay so this is it, Victor here, historymercedes.com, thank you for watching.